In this lecture, you'll be learning how to migrate a database using Azure Data Studio. So the first thing you want to ensure is that you establish a connection to your on-premise SQL Server. Here I have MRJM with the instance name MSSQL Server 1. The next step is to go to the extension tab and search for Azure SQL Migration and then install that package. So the package is currently being installed. Azure SQL Migration, it supports both online and offline migration. So with the online migration, the Sewer SQL Server database is available for read-write activities while the database backups are continuously restored to the Azure SQL Server target. Application downtime is limited to the duration of the cutover time at the end of the migration. So for the offline migration, the Sewer SQL Server database cannot be used for read-write activities while the database backup files are being restored to the Azure SQL target. So basically application downtime persists from the start until the end of the migration process. To start the migration process, go back to the server connections, double click on your server that you want to do the migration from, you expand databases. Now from the general section, you will see the Azure SQL migration. Select migration, then select new migration. Select the databases that you want to migrate. I'm going to go with the AdventureWorks LT 2019. Then select next. Here you can choose your SQL target. So I must make one note here guys. The online and offline migrations are supported for only the Azure SQL Managed Instance and SQL Server and Azure Virtual Machine. So I'm going to select Azure SQL Database. Select next. I got an error so before I can select next I need to view and select SQL databases. So I'm going to select AdventureWorks. So now I'm going to select next. Here you can manually specify your subscription, your location, resource group etc right. However I'm just going to link account. So here I'm going to select add account, specify the account that you want to use. Then select next and specify your password. My account has been successfully added. Now head over back to Azure Data Studio, select the account and then select close. All the information has been populated. Now I just need to specify the target user password. Once you have specified the password, select connect. Now one thing to keep in mind is that the target database that you are migrating to must exist. So you need to create the database beforehand. So I'm going to select an existing database and all the schemas and objects should exist in advance. However, it cannot contain any data. I'm going to use it AVW2, then select next. So because we don't have an existing migration database service, we need to create one. So here, select create. So I'm just going to call this SQL migration. Once you have specified the name, select create. So here we have an hero. The subscription is not registered to use the namespace Microsoft.data migration. So to resolve this, you need to go to the Azure portal, go to subscription and enable Microsoft data migration. So let's head over to the portal to resolve this issue. So you're going to select subscriptions, select the subscription that you're using, scroll down to resource provider and search for Microsoft.data. So we are looking for data migration, right? So it's right here, data migration, select it and then select register. Microsoft data migration has now been registered. So let's head over back to Azure Data Studio. So I'm just gonna select create again. The data migration service has been successfully created. So here I'm just gonna select done. So here we have another hero. Azure database migration service is not registered. So it needs to be registered with a self-hosted integration runtime. You can download this from Microsoft's website. I'll leave the download link in the resource section of this lecture. Once you have downloaded and installed the Microsoft runtime, then you'll get a prompt like this. So you just paste the key that was generated in Azure Data Studio. So I'm going to select register here. Once the runtime has been registered, select finish. So the integration runtime self-hosted node has been successfully registered. So let's select launch configuration manager. Here you can see that the self-hosted node 
is connected to the cloud service. And you can see the data factories SQL migration service that we created. Now let's go back to Azure Data Studio. Now let's refresh. Now you can see that we have a green tick so everything went well. So select next. So on this page you have the option to run a validation to ensure that your migration will run successfully. So I'm going to select run validation. So select next to proceed. Here's a summary of what will take place. The migration mode will be offline. So select start migration. Now you're on the migration page. You will see an overview of the migration which was created. So you can monitor the status of your migration from the migrations tab. Further to your right of the screen, you have a duration, a start time, and a finish time. So you can track how long your migration takes. So the migration is now in progress. Duration 1 minute, start time 10.49 pm. Now let's do a refresh again. Migration is still in progress. So the migration is now completed. Duration 4 minutes. So we can expand the Azure SQL Server instance and validate that data is being reflected in the database. So expand. Let me edit connection. Change the database. AVW2. Then select connect. Now let's expand and view the tables. All the tables were successfully migrated. Now let's do a select up 1000 rows and the data was returned successfully. Using the Azure SQL migration is a great way to migrate from on-premise to cloud as it gives you the option to migrate your SQL database to Azure both online or offline.